Good morning, you guys. Welcome to the vlog. Look who just joined me. He's so clingy. Now he's chewing on an ice cube. <gasps> Is that yummy? <laughs> I just finished a little Orange Theory workout. I'd love to like bring you guys along, but obviously there's other people in the class. Nothing pushes me quite as hard. It was so challenging, but so, so good. So love that. I'm gonna go make a little protein smoothie. I feel like I've been getting into these since Max will always make them after the gym. And yeah, I don't know. They're just like good after the gym. I feel like everyone knows that. And I feel like I haven't been on the protein powder train in a while. So yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Surprise, surprise, look who's following me. I love you. <laughs> but you guys, I am going to do a strawberry peach daily harvest smoothie. This one's so good, you guys need to try it. Also, I'm mad at every single one of you. Why did nobody tell me how good this vanilla care of protein is? What the heck, where have I been? I've always done the chocolate one, but you guys, I'm so shook because I just opened this up. It's like a brand new fresh one and I smell it this literally smells like coffee cake like crumb cake cinnamony and sweet this smells so good I can oh can only imagine how it's gonna taste my smoothie so yeah I'm mad at all of you for not telling me about this flavor like where have I been it smells so dang good all right just as expected so good you guys mm -mm -mm. This is like my favorite type of smoothie. And just a lot of berries. I didn't say, but it has strawberry, banana, peach, raspberry, oat, goji berry. So just like simple, a lot of fruits. And then this just makes it taste like yummy. I don't know how to describe. And I feel like I'm so picky about the taste of protein and things. If it tastes like whey or, I don't know, I feel like it can just overpower the whole smoothie, but this makes it so good. Mm. All right, I didn't even say, but it's Friday. Happy Friday. And so, Luckily, I don't have too much on my plate today work-wise because I'm already thinking about how I want to go lay by the pool. It's such a nice day. It's going to be like 80-something. It's so sunny. And so I just got to crank out a video that I'm posting today. And what's the other thing I want to do? Oh, plan my videos for next week. And I think that's pretty much it. So I'm going to shower, get ready a little bit, crank out some work, and then... Hopefully, Max will join me by the pool later. I just realized how protected you look from the sun. I am very protected. The hat and sunglasses. Finally, it's probably like two o'clock and I'm finally at the pool. So nice, it's so warm out. We were just saying we were both so freezing in our apartment just cause we have the air like blasting mm -hmm. and we were like sitting still. So it's so, it feels so nice to be in your hot car. Anyway, we're at the pool, just gonna chill. And I wanted to tell you guys, I don't think I've really talked about it in my vlog but I've decided that I'm starting TikTok. I started wow. maybe like a week ago, a week and a half ago. I'm having so much fun on there. Like where have I been the last two years that TikTok yeah. has been a thing? Late to the party. Or it's probably three. I don't even know how old TikTok is. I'm so late to the party but I'm having so much fun. But so better late than never. Yeah, exactly. I feel like they would enjoy my TikTok content if you sure. guys haven't been seeing it. Like TikTok's just so fun and like short form. So Max and I were just saying is usernames on TikTok like a thing? I think I think so. I think yours is just your name. Mine's probably just my name. So if you type in Gretchen Garrity, I don't really know how TikTok works. Mm. Like it just took me probably an hour and a half to make one. Like it's so hard because <laughs> I'm yeah. old. <laughs> yeah, I think if you just type in my name, you should find it. I just made a fun TikTok. It was like me, us, like that mm -hmm. one as a couple. So anyway, okay, going to the Great. pool. Back from the pool. That was so nice. Just tanned for a while. Read a bit. I want to show you guys this bathing suit top is from Beach Dry. I actually haven't worn it yet. Something that I think is weird about it, like I really like the color and everything. Looks kind of twisted. I got it on Revolve, but I think it's weird. I don't know if you can see, but the lining is black, so I feel like it kind of shows. I don't know. But what I really wanted to tell you guys is, I think in my last video where Max and I tried to guys to pull a orders. I was writing these shorts and I talked about them, but since I posted stories on my Instagram of these shorts and everyone's like, oh my gosh, those look like the perfect jean shorts. Where are they from? Sadly, they are my mom's Levi shorts that were longer that I cut a little bit shorter that my twin sister found in the basement. So yeah, vintage Levi's. I feel so cool that I can say that, that I'm like wearing my mom's shorts from back in the day. We found so much cool stuff. I'm having deja vu because I think I said it in that video, but we found like biker shorts and sports bras, like matching sets. Everything from back in the day has like come back in style, you know, like the high-waisted pants and shorts and stuff. So it's so cool that I get to wear her stuff and it fits literally perfect. It's like scary how 
how well everything that Lucy and I found for my mom's when she was like our age like fits so well. Actually, no, she was older. It was literally after she had us like twins. We were so shocked. We would see photos and be like, how are you wearing these shorts after you had twin daughters? Like crazy. So I guess she was probably 10 years older than me, like early 30s, mid 30s. So yeah. To clarify, I just looked back at that. I was like, I think I explained this so horribly. I meant sadly, cause I can't link these for you guys since they're my mom's. But yeah, I feel like so many places have like light wash, Levi's, high-waisted shorts. So that's just what these are. And I wanted to tell you guys, I need to go like rinse off cause I'm so hot and me being hot. <laughs> He's sleeping on the ground. It's so cute. It's making me realize I feel like I've been sleeping so poorly and like literally having nightmares because I've been so hot when I've been sleeping. So I'm gonna go switch our sheets to our linen sheets right now because I feel like those are a lot more breathable, like summer sheets where they keep you cooler than our current ones, if that makes sense. So I need to go do that right now before I forget because I've been sleeping like so horribly and having like awful nightmares. There's the boy. Do you guys hear golf playing in the background? Of course, Maxie watching golf. Hi, sleepy tired. <laughs> Just finished switching over to the linen sheets. If you guys could tell, Brody likes being very involved in the process. Are you comfy or what, dude? He's like, I know it's only like 4 p.m., but I think I'm tucked in for the night. Like, you've gotta be kidding me. He is so obsessed with his bed. It's so dang comfy. Which reminds me, I wanted to tell you guys about my mattress. This is the Helix Sleep Mattress. I know this is the Lux model and it's the Midnight model. I'm like explaining this horribly already, but I know it's the Midnight Lux model and that's just because that's what oh where are you going that's what we got matched to when we took our little sleep quiz I think the only thing they need to add to their sleep quiz is dog sleeping preference so basically if you guys haven't heard about them Four, they have the most comfy mattresses. So you can understand the degree to how comfy they are. I have a lot of trouble getting up in the morning. I literally can sleep 13 hours in this bed and Brody just doesn't get up until we get him up. <laughs> Are you comfy or what, dude? <laughs> so yeah, basically this is like a medium feel mattress. That's just max and my preference that we put in the sleep quiz. We also put in that we are side sleepers. Both of us sleep on our side. I used to sleep on my stomach, but I had all sorts of like neck issues. Anyway, who cares? So we both sleep on our side for a medium feel. I think Brody does as well. He seems very intense. Basically the gist of the sleep quiz is that it just matches your body type, your sleep preferences to the mattress that's perfect for you. If you like a softer feel we like a medium feel like I said or if you want it more firm yeah like right in between like not too soft not too hard you guys know we've actually had this mattress for almost nine months now which is crazy I feel like we just moved in but we got this back in September so I can insert the footage right here the best part of this helix mattress is that it gets shipped to you for free so quick and easy and the reason it's so easy is because it comes like all rolled up and it's one of those ones that like expands so quick so you could easily set it up by yourself and I totally get if you're nervous to buy something you haven't tried out that's totally how I felt but then I found out Helix actually has a 100 night sleep trial so you'll get over three months to try it out and make sure you love it and if you don't they will pick it up for free and you will get a full refund now we're in your house what are you doing over there okay now that I'm talking about how comfy my bed is I just want to jump in and like I said it is not bedtime it is fully light out right now <laughs> look at this something with the layers like this is so soft and plush but I know you guys aren't chalked I know you guys already know that I'm Helix's number one fan I've talked about my mattress so much and actually so many of you have Helix mattresses too so many of you guys have been in my dms my comments tell me how cozy yours are too i know my offer for them is the same you guys so if you go to helixsleep.com slash gretchen you can get up to 200 dollars off your helix sleep mattress and two free pillows i really love my helix sleep mattress as you can tell i know you would love yours too and again they have the 100 night risk-free sleep trial so you really can't go wrong might as well try one out especially if you're in the market for a new mattress and now i know we're going to start preparing dinner max and i love making dinner together especially since it's a friday night i think we're going to cook together. So let's do it. I'm getting hungry. Great. 
right, you guys. Ooh. Fail. This is something you may not know. Actually, this is like the first time this has ever happened. Yeah. I was gonna say, you probably wouldn't know if this happened, but this is really the first time this has happened. So, basically, we made this HelloFresh. It's like pork chops, roasted carrots, and onions, and mashed potatoes. But like, I messed up the mashed potatoes so bad. I think they tasted nasty. Max was being nice and said they were like, oh, okay. Bad. But like, beyond repair. Like, bad. So, save the day and threw a sweet potato in the microwave quick. <laughs> which like, I really don't like them in the microwave. I think they're way better roasted in the oven. But like, we didn't have an hour to roast them since everything else was ready. But at least this looks good. I just tried a roasted onion, which I never had. Mm -hmm. But did you try one? Like, no. they're good. Okay. Anyway, so that was kind of a fail. Um, a crispy one. Don't do what I did. And make sure if you are doing mashed potatoes that you boil the potatoes enough. Because they were like rock solid and I was trying to mash them. And then they tasted like crunchy. But then like the sour cream and butter was ready in there. So it was like too late to do anything, you know, anyway, whatever This will still be delish mm -hmm. Friday night very casual date night. Maybe we have date night every night tell them where we're going It's just this. the two of us living together. So every night is kind mm -hmm. of day night. No, I didn't tell them I think we're gonna go we're gonna go golfing aka Max is gonna golf and Brody and I will walk Mm -hmm. Alongside, <laughs> mm -hmm. just to hang out with him. Maybe I'll, I'll swing. Sure. I'll swing or two. Swing one or two. You know what I'm saying. Up to you. Hit a ball or two. Yeah. Okay. Time to have our messed up a little bit dinner. We made it. We're golfing, and by we, I mean Max. <laughs> and Bodie's running around. Yeah. Look at this happy guy. The happiest smile on his face. Max sent me a picture of this house over here the other day. And I just love all the windows. Imagine the natural light in there. So I keep saying this is my house. I'm gonna buy it. No, I'm kidding. I wish. Look at it. Isn't it so cool with all the windows? Anyway, Brody's calling me. Are you gonna go play in the sand? <laughs> is he allowed to play in the sand, Max? No, no, don't rip that up. Look at him. People are gonna be golfing here and wondering why there's like dog prints. Don't eat the grass, please. How is your putt? Far. Wonderful. Oh, oh. Brody. That's probably bad. Come on. Yeah, I'll rake it in. Okay. <laughs> I told him about my house over there. <laughs> Brody, no more sand traps for you. He's like so obsessed with Max while he's golfing. He can't, we can't be like 10 feet away from Max. Like we need to be right sandy next to him. Ball. Is this mouth all sandy? Yeah. Brody, Brody, show us your mouth. Now he likes the rake. Brody, show me your mouth. It's probably like 7.30, you guys. And it's the prettiest time in the evening like look at the sky it's just like so nice out not too hot not too cold the sun isn't too bright in our face anymore because it's getting low in the beginning i was so happy i had my hat on because the sun was like so bright so we were like oh. i like really don't wear hats that much just thought it'd be cute with my little get up with the dress but i'm liking this maybe i'll do hats more oh are we tired now <laughs> But yeah, you guys should do this. If your boyfriend likes golfing, go run around with them while they golf. Like, it's kind of fun. It's nice out. You get in a little walk. Get to chit chat with them. Be supportive instead of complaining that they golf all the time. Who am I kidding? I complain too, but no. <laughs> it's just fun. It's fun all hanging out. And they love Brody here, so they let him come. Target. Oh, it's Saturday by the way. Hi, it's the next day and we're getting a bunch of snacks since I think we want to do like a movie night situation tonight. Pretzel M&Ms, obviously the best. Some kettle corn. Max wanted to get the peanut butter monster. So good. And we each wanted different kinds of Oreos. We got, you got party size, Max. Uh, oh, you got party and I got family. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite is the birthday cake and Max's favorite are the golden ones. So those are set up for moving out. What else do we need? Do we need anything else? Like look at all the candy you guys. All these like Whopper. movie theater size like boxes. These are so fun. Maybe we need Whoppers. Yeah, these are so good. Of course we end up with like a cart full of groceries now. <laughs> Had to get some cold brew on our way out. Mm -mm -mm. We found a turtle. Don't eat the turtle. Hi, Mr. Turtle. Like, what the heck? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Brody, back up. Did you tell him how we saw a wounded bird at the golf course yesterday? No, I didn't tell him that. Is this a sign from the universe that we're supposed to help animals? Because we keep coming across no. animals in need. I thought you were going to grab, like, gloves or a towel or something so you could pick them up. I'll just pick them up by a shell. Maybe I'll post my Instagram story and say, what do we do? No, I don't want them in the road. Like, hi. 
Look at, he's looking at us. They're not dangerous, right? Like, I'm not about to be, like, attacked. Hi. No, they move pretty slow. What's that green stuff on his back? And since when are there wild turtles in Pennsylvania? Like, are you sure this isn't someone's pet sure. that got out or something? How does a pet turtle get out? It looks like a snake inside of the shell. I don't know. You guys, I'm freaking out because I just Googled is there wild turtles in Pennsylvania? And like this is literally him. This picture is of him that looks exactly like him. Eastern box turtle. Most familiar turtle in Pennsylvania. Five to eight inches, blah, blah, blah. Deciduous woodlands, old fields, and pastures. Well, there's so many trees around here. There's a little like creek over here. Should we help up. him get back to the trees over there? I'm not sure where he's trying to go. He wants to go that way or this way. <laughs> Brody will help him. Like what if we move him over here and he's like, well, fuck, I was, I was trying, trying to, to cross the way. road. Yeah. Isn't that the joke? Like, why did the turtle cross the road? Why did the... Chicken, not the turtle. <laughs> I think I'm thinking of the turtle and the hare, the turtle and the rabbit, you know, and the turtle wins. Brody, what do you think of all of this? I don't want him to get run over, is the thing. I'll just stay out here all day and direct traffic. <laughs> So if you guys want to know where me and Max will be this Saturday, we'll be sitting right here on the stoop directing cars around our friend. <laughs> okay, we just talked to this guy and he said he definitely came from in here by the trees and that's yeah, what my research is telling there. me on my phone. Yeah, and listen to this, kind of sad though. I wonder how he made it out here. Maybe he was just disoriented. It says you can pick up the turtle using both of your hands, blah, 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 blah. And then it says, they spend their entire lives, which can span over 100 years, in one small area. If moved, they'll spend the rest of their life trying to get home, crossing unfamiliar, unfamiliar territory. This is definitely unfamiliar territory. Usually dying in the process. But like, why is it going towards the highway? How'd it get out here? He was closer over there. Really? When I, oh, then when maybe I he was over there and he's trying to come. I, don't know. I love that I thought it was someone's pet. <laughs> I literally only thought that like sea, Snuck out. I think I just think of like sea turtles like I think of them being by the beach and in the ocean So I didn't really know that they were just in forest. Did you know turtles are in forest? Oh, yeah I don't know that. Well, not like forest, but like creaky. Yeah huh. I'm nervous broad All right, buddy. <gasps> Careful He's really not moving at all Oh my gosh, you guys, he's on the move. He just started Maybe going really go quick that way. There he goes. Look at him go. There he goes. Okay, I just realized my one friend Slater knows literally the answer to everything and knows about everything. So I'm gonna call him and see what he thinks to do. Okay, now we're thinking that he came from, cause that's like a wooded area too. Yeah. Max says he could have stumbled. Ventured too far. Yeah. Fell in the road and now yeah. he's stuck. He can't, he can't get back and maybe up. he was disoriented, so he was coming this way. But really, his friends are over there. I wish there were other turtles we could see to bring him to the other turtles. I think I'm gonna lift no, him up. I think there. he's like scared. He's hiding in his shell. I think I'm gonna lift him up. Where do we bring him? I think I'm gonna put him in the grass over there. Mm. Okay, all of you guys on my story. Oh, you did it. Okay, we did it. Everyone said to put him in the direction he's moving in the grass and so Max just put him there and everyone said you can pick them up and the, and also people were telling me if we brought him this way but he was going that way he would keep going that way like they know their sense of direction and so he wanted to go that way I don't know why this is like such a big deal to me right now <laughs> I'm like freaking out how's he doing okay he's thinking about it we're gonna be here all day Hey, thank you all for helping with the turtle situation. It's kind of freaking out, but I was just updating my Instagram stories and a lot of you were like, obviously bring him in the direction. Like I said that he was going in. My friend Slater also confirmed to just push him off into the grass where he was going. And a girl was telling me that it's turtle season here in Lehigh Valley and another girl said like a similar thing happened to her and her friends. And I think they talked to like a wildlife person that said to just like let them be in the wild and just get them in like a safe place. So that was fun. That was like an exciting thing. 
thing. <laughs> and yeah, I just feel like the universe is telling us to do something with animals since we keep running into animals that need our help, like I said. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. I feel like I'm like shaking right now from that cold brew, so I need to go work out while I have all this energy. But I have this denim jacket on that is just a Levi's denim jacket. And I wore it over the weekend when we were at the wedding because the first night was like Canadian tuxedo, so we wore all denim. And now I feel like I'm liking it. Like I never really wore it before that. Now I'm like, oh, this will look cute with a denim jacket. So this is like new for me. I've like never worn denim jackets. I feel like I'm also wearing the Lululemon Align tanks so much. They're just so soft and comfy. And I've had them for a while, but I like wasn't wearing them much. I don't know why. I just like wasn't thinking about them. But now every day I'm like, ooh, I could like throw on my Align tank. And then these black shorts are just like comfy little tie ribbed drawstring shorts from Revolve. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys I'm wearing my new slides. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna mess up the brand name, but I can just link them down below for you guys. I can link everything I'm wearing. Obviously, it's nothing crazy. It's just like really chill Saturday comfy outfit. And I'm really liking these new slides. I think they're like so cute, but comfy, but like leather. So you could also like dress them up more. And yeah, I'm not gonna even try to say the name. If you know how to say it, tell me in the comments. But I'm gonna go work out now and I'll bring you along for our movie night later. We just had a, an idea to do a little movie night, like I said, because we actually have like a theater room where we live. So we're gonna try that, but I don't think there's like reservations or anything. So if there's other people in there, we'll probably just come back and like do it here. I think we're gonna try that just for something fun. We got all our snacks like you guys saw. It's gonna be so fun. It's later, I'm in my comfy, cozy little wet set. This is actually electric in rose and I know they have it on Revolve so I can link it, but it's evening. We're getting ready for our little movie night and Max just put together our snacks in the bag. I thought we were gonna do like little portions and like baggies or something. He just tossed it all in there. <laughs> Imagine we ate like every last bite of all of the snacks. <laughs> no, maybe we'll just like have a little bit of everything. Got popcorn, this massive thing of peanut butter monster trailing. This is like dangerous, you guys. I feel like we haven't gotten this in so long because Max and I will polish this off in like probably less than a week. It's so bad. Please comment down below your favorite Oreos because I'm really curious. I think mine have to be either birthday cake or chocolate marshmallow. Or you're probably like Gretchen. I don't need Oreos anymore. I'm not like eight But yeah, I love the birthday cake ones and Max's favorite are the golden ones So obviously we had to get both but you know what I think I like this type of popcorn I think they have this I think I got this at Wegmans. I feel like I've seen it at Whole Foods I don't even know what brand this is, but you can see the package I think I like this one more than the boom chicka pop honestly. They probably are very similar though I wonder if in the blind taste test if I would even like know the difference, but yeah, I don't know I feel like this one's maybe a little more Salty and less sweet. I don't know. So maybe we need both of those. You guys think we have enough snacks? I think I know what the difference is. I just popped open this bag of popcorn, kettle corn. And this has a slight like coconutty taste because there's coconut oil in here. Um, I don't think there's coconut oil boom chicka pop. So yeah, these are definitely my favorite. I love the subtle coconut taste. Did you taste the coconut in this type of popcorn the other day? Because there's coconut oil in here. I feel like you wouldn't. I think like you don't notice little no. flavors like that. Max has a really bad sense of smell also. But like you're not really good at smelling things either. Like the candle, I'm never over the candle. The Christmas candle, he comes like waltzing in my apartment when we first started dating. And he's like, mmm, vanilla. <laughs> and we were like, that is fully like a Christmas tree candle. What do they call those candles? Pine. Yeah, like pine, I don't know. Anyway, okay. Off we go. Okay, you guys, look at the movie room. How fun. We got our snacks, we got our blankies, and I think we're going to watch Cruella because I feel like I've said this in 10 of my vlogs so far, how we've been wanting to watch it, and I know it's on Disney Plus. We still haven't watched it, so we're finally gonna watch it. I was like, this will be a good Disney Plus reason to watch it, like coming here since we like made the time to do it and we still haven't watched it, you know, so. This is gonna be so fun. I'm so happy we are finally making use of this room here. You guys, I'm laughing because this whole time I'm like, wow, that's so cool that Cruella's on Disney Plus. Like it's still in the theaters and they make you pay 30 extra dollars. <laughs> but just like pretend like we're at a movie, right? So it's okay, we can do it. <laughs> guys, that was so fun. My like nighttime voice is on, but I'm so happy we came here. Okay, bedtime.
Sunday. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think this whole time in my head it was Saturday. No, Sunday. That's. I feel like Sunday is normally like a day of rest, but we've been getting after it. Sunday fun day. Yeah, it is Sunday fun day. I think this vlog's getting long, so I think the mm. end of today will be I in the next think. vlog. Oh, yeah, why it's is gonna that? be so because it's gonna be so fun. It deserves its own. Yeah, where are we going? Jerry Tone? Time. No. Oh sure. But this is kind of gross that I'm sitting on the couch <laughs> after I just finished my workout. But I really don't sweat that much in bar, you know? That's what I try to tell you guys. Anyway, happy Sunday. We last thing you saw was Cruella last night, which mm. by the way. So good. So good. Completely worth the $30 really <laughs> we was. had to pay to watch it early. Seriously, like one of my new favorite movies. It's yeah. just so good. It was good. The twists and turns. And I think I'm just biased because I love Emma Stone. You know, I actually don't like Emma Stone, but she was great. You don't like her? No. I said I was obsessed with her like 10 times and you didn't say anything. I know. You don't have to ruin my vibe. Don't want to break your heart. <laughs> I literally love her. She's been in so many movies, you know, but she was so good yeah. in this one, like such a good actress. Anyway, yeah, no, she was very such a good movie. You guys need to watch. But I wish I vlogged, but like, I guess on my phone or something I could have, but we went on a rollerblade run this mm -hmm. morning, well, late morning, mm -hmm. with Brody, so it was so hot, so we like couldn't go that long because we were all mm -hmm. like, dripping and sweat but that was really fun and then I did a little bar Max did a little spin I did I've been getting after it so they didn't do anything yesterday <laughs> and I just I feel like motivated because it's so sunny and nice out like I feel mm -hmm. like I have energy and then when it's cloudy I'm just like yeah. I just want to lay here I feel like so affected by the weather yeah. Anyway, so we've been getting after it, but I feel like this vlog is getting long. I'm trying it on. Yeah, I just wanted to show them movie night. This is your sign to do a movie night. Yeah. Even if you don't have like boyfriend, girlfriend, you could do it with a BFF, um, a sibling, a dog. A dog. <laughs> just like that was so fun setting up. And obviously we're lucky we have this like movie theater room here, but you really don't need it. It wasn't even like a movie theater room, did you and show them? How we couldn't turn off the lights, so it was like well, bright yeah, in there. Well, yeah, the TV was like the same size as ours. Yeah, like we could have just... It was just the fancy chairs. Yeah, yeah, like the recliner chairs, which made it fun. Like, we easily could have just done it here. So, mm -hmm. yeah, like set up a movie night yeah. at your apartment or house or wherever you live. And like turn off all the lights and get all these blankets and snacks because it was so fun. Yeah. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And I'm going to leave you on a cliffhanger for what we're doing this afternoon and evening because it's so fun. And we've never done this together, ever, in all of our dating. No, we have Never, not. which is so weird. Yeah. Because we lived in Boston. And Brody has to do it Brody. <laughs> it's going to be so fun. So thank you guys for watching this vlog. See you in my next one, which is going to be great. <laughs>